Okay, uh, welcome back. So today we're going to make a bar up here in the upper left hand corner that slowly fills up as our score increases. Uh, in order to do this, we're going to be using a piece of art that I made that you can find in the git. Uh, I'm just going to drag this directly into my art folder. Um, don't need to do anything as far as um, changing the pixels per unit because this is going to be used in the UI system. So I'm going to pop over to my scene here going to take a look at my top UI and as a child of my image up here I'm going to make a new UI image and I'm going to drag this over to be in this area I'm going to change it to be the score bar as the source image and automatically it does that uh, I want to preserve my aspect which is going to make sure it stays this kind of um, rectangular thing I guess whatever you would call it um, size this down to be about the size I want it's going to overflow a little bit but that's okay so there we go that's fine all right cool um, yeah that doesn't look too bad I'm going to change my anchors for this to be on the left side of its container and here's where the magic comes in. So image type I'm going to change from being simple to being filled and the fill method is going to be horizontal and fill origin is the left that means where it would have its zero point. Right now its fill amount is one but I can see as I pull it down this bar kind of fills up. And I like the way this looks. Um, you can achieve a similar effect by using a slider, but I kind of like the way this looks so that it's not always a smaller version of itself. Um, and so that as soon as I get to zero, it does that. You can do the same thing with a slider, but it takes some doing. Sliders are finicky. Um, so what I want to do here is I'm going to make a few different... Um, References. My first reference is going to be in the board script. So I'm going to open up my board script, and each level is going to have a, a high score goal, or at least a score goal. Um, I'm going to uh, create that inside my global variables here. Now, a lot of you guys have been wondering about making multiple boards. We're we're getting to that. I promise you. Um, That'll probably come sometime next week. I'll show you how to use scriptable objects to create a level select screen where each level is different. Um, but for now, we're going to do everything in here in this one level. Um, but I promise it's coming. Anyway, so here, I want to create uh, a little array, which is going to be the score goals. So these are going to be public int array score goals. And I'm going to save this. I'm going to pop back into Unity here. And I'm going to find my board. Me. There we go. Oh, did I do something wrong? Oh no, it's still compiling. Okay. So, there we go. There are my score goals. So I'm going to say goal number one. I'm going to say I have three score goals because usually it's three stars. Goal number one is 2,000 points. Goal number two is 4,000 points. And I'll say goal number three is 5,000 points. Um, okay, cool. So now the next thing I need to do is go into my scripts and find my score manager script and open that one up. So now in here, I need to have a couple things. First, I need to have a reference to the board. So I'm going to do private board board. And then in my start method, I'm going to complete this reference. Board equals find object of type board. Um, and then in my, where do I want to do this? I want to do this when I increase my score. So I'm going to have to create a reference to the image of the sprite as well. So if we take a look here, my image is composed of this image script. So, oops, wrong thing. 
In here, um, in my score manager, in my global variables, I'm going to create a public image, and I'm going to call it uh, score bar. Now I have to remember to assign this. So when I increase my score, I'm going to make sure that uh, board isn't null and score bar isn't null, meaning we're making sure that we've assigned these. And then what I want to do is I want to say that my uh, score bar dot fill amount, which is right here, this variable fill amount. So, ugh, I keep <laughs> clicking on infinity instead of Visual Studio. Um, score bar dot fill amount is equal to, and I want it to be filled a percentage equal to whatever the current score is divided by the final score goal. So we're going to do um, score divided by board dot score goals. I'm going to use a magic number here. I'm just going to say two because I know I'm going to be using three. Um, actually, let me fix that. So I'm just going to make an integer up here. Integer um, length equals board.scoregoals.length. Since I uh, <laughs> since I already have some issues with matching numbers in my scripts, so this is going to return three if it's three. So then I want it to be board score goals uh, length minus one. Sorry for that weird cut. Um, the issue is. If you're dividing an integer by an integer and you get a value between 0 and 1, it'll always return 0. So I need to cast these two values both as floats. So I'm going to do float score and float board dot score goals length minus 1. Um, it says that this cast is unnecessary. However, it's not unnecessary. Um, let me save my script really quickly, and if I go back into Unity, uh, now that I have it casted correctly, it should work. So let's try now. Uh, if I hit play, and let this think for a second. Uh, okay, cool. So I'm going to flip-flop those two places. You can see it's got a tiny bit of fill there. And there we go. Um, this also is checking the score goals live. So if I change my score goals here, let's say I make them uh, 100, 400, and 700, um, I can still have the bar reflect that. And so now it's 360 out of 700, and so it shows that. And one thing that you could do uh, in addition to this, and I guess we can do this, is add the actual marks and the actual stars to appear. Um, but for now, this is a nice little score fill system working here. So, yeah, uh, if you learned something today, feel free to give me a like. Uh, if you didn't learn something, you can still give me a like. Uh, down in the description down below, I have the link to the GitHub version of this project, um, as well as a link to a Discord server, where I'm on almost pretty much every day. Um, and a link to my Twitter account where you can find out exactly when I post a new video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description down below if I didn't already say that. And have yourselves a wonderful day.